Happy Friday for South County. It's Beverly Adams, your A&R program assistant for the UGA Extension Office here in Forsyth County with my beneficial insect of the week, ground beetles. Ground beetles make up one of the largest groups of beetles in North America. It has more than 2,200 species. Although there is some variation in their body shape and coloring, most are shiny and black, some are even metallic, and have ridged wing covers. Another characteristic common to ground beetles is a smaller head than thorax and thread-like antenna. They may be confused with cockroaches such as the oriental cockroach. Um, both are shiny and very dark, but beetles have hardened front wings where roaches either have leathery wings or no wings at all. The adults are active at night and they tend to hide under rocks during the day and when you expose them, they do run. They come out at night to feed on unsuspecting insects. Likely targets include caterpillars, root maggots, snails, and other soft-bodied insects. The fire researcher, a very brilliantly colored ground beetle, was imported to assist in the ground control, I'm sorry, in the control of gypsy moth larvae. Most species do not use their wings, but a few may fly to lights at night. One group of ground beetles called, called bombadier beetles have an interesting defensive mechanism. When threatened, they'll raise the end of their body and fire a chemical gas with popping sound and smoke-like puffs. The gas is irritating to enemies such as toads and would-be collectors. Ground beetle larvae, like adults, are important predators. The larvae live below ground where they use their large pincher-like mandibles to devour soil-dwelling insects. Adults may wander into homes by crawling through small openings or under doors. They will not stay inside because they prefer to be outdoors. Since ground beetles are beneficial insects, control is not warranted. However, if they are creating a nuisance, move or remove the hiding places next to the house, such as log piles, mulch, and debris around the perimeter. Caulking and weather stripping will close some entrance points, especially around windows and, and door sweeps. Beetles found indoor may be swept up and discarded. If the beetles are creating a nuisance by flying to lights at night, repositioning the lighting or changing the white lights to yellow may reduce the attraction. And of course, if you are using some sort of pesticide, always read and follow label directions for safe use. I am Beverly Adams. I am the A&R Program Assistant here at the University of Georgia for South County Extension Office. This is our contact information. You can reach us through telephone, via email, through our Facebook or our website. If, um, just leave a message or send an email and someone will be back in touch with you as soon as possible. Thank you all for watching. Next week I'll be back with my disease of the week. I hope you all have a great weekend.